There's a little secret that you may not know. History is not linear. People think that women's rights are in a constant state of moving forward. Well, unfortunately, that's not always been the case. And now we're in danger of moving backwards. Backwards? Don't you think that's a little extreme? I mean, things aren't that bad. I mean, if you wanted to go backwards, I mean, going back to like the Stone Age or like the time when like the Bible was going on and stuff. Not exactly. Many people throughout the world worshipped a female god around this time. Did I mention that these religions were sex positive? I mean, imagine if you and your daughters never even had to know what the word slut meant, let alone slut shaming. Okay, I didn't know any of that. So then what about the Dark Ages? That was a bad time for women. Yes, women did have severely less rights than they do in the US today. But compared to years after, like the Renaissance, they sometimes had more. For example, in Europe, unmarried women and widows had the right to own property. But they lost some of those privileges during the Renaissance. How can women really have been all that involved in changing the course of history or in working if they've always been limited by having to do domestic work? I mean, women haven't ever escaped that. As noted by the famous Greek historian Herodotus and the philosopher Sophocles, Egyptian men would stay at home and do the weaving while the women went out and made the money. It's like the exact opposite of the way things are today. Yeah, but all these examples have to do with other countries. None of them have to do with America. So I don't really think there's any real threat that we're going to go backwards. New Jersey women won the right to vote after the American Revolution. So between the years of 1776 and 1807, single women, freed slaves, and aliens had the right to vote in New Jersey. Then they lost it. Why? This little thing called voter fraud that apparently these people were perpetuating. Sound familiar? I feel like I've been lied to my whole life. The anti-women agenda of religious fundamentalism is a recent example of how very real and scary going backwards can be. And this can happen to anyone. And if you think of America as a place of progress, and you believe men and women are equal, then there's something you should know. The Republican Party has the most anti-woman agenda that they've had in years. They don't believe in equal pay. Ryan and Romney voted against the Paycheck Fairness Act. And Ryan even voted against the Lilly Ledbetter Act. Of course you can see that folks like Romney have a lot to lose if they're denied access to women's cheap labor. But then again, they can always continue getting it from China, like he so beautifully stated in this video. Are you kidding? 1,100 provisions restricting women's reproductive rights in 2011 alone? And 944 in just the first quarter of 2012? 2011 and 2012 have been very bad years for women's reproductive rights. Not only are they trying to make it harder to get abortions, they're even trying to illegalize abortions even in the case of rape, incest, and even when the mother's health is in danger. I mean, have you ever heard of fetal personhood bills? <coughs> My cough not full, it stopped being real. They want to redefine rape? You might have thought Todd Aiken's words were coming out of nowhere, but that's not true. Mr. Smiles is also a participant in this ideology. And so is Mr. Some Girls Rape Easy, Roger Rivard, State Representative of Wisconsin. Wait a minute, so they don't want to pass the Violence Against Women Act because it protects LGBTQ native women and immigrant women? Yes, you thought that protecting women from sexual and domestic violence was a given, right? Well, it certainly was a bipartisan issue in 1994, but it's not anymore. Today, Republicans can't stand the idea that the new Violence Against Women Act would be used to protect LGBTQ folks, native women, or immigrant women. Well, you may want to know that some of the people involved in the rejection of the new act are also involved in the mail order bride business. Because if you can't say that the rape is illegitimate, at least you can say that she doesn't have the legal rights as a citizen to report it. So please, don't vote Republican this election. Don't vote Republican this election. Don't vote Republican this election. What they're trying to do to women is too much. 
even for Republicans. And if you don't like Obama, you can vote for any one of these candidates instead. Because for the love of women and equality everywhere, we need to stand up to misogyny. We need to stand up to misogyny. Because I ain't going backwards, baby.